What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying the fire cricket jig. This is a great pattern for when you're looking for something natural to throw at the fish. So to tie this one I'm going to be using a 1 ounce jig head powder painted black and I'm going to use a black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. We're going to take that from the head to the point of the hook. For the tail we're going to use one black marabou feather. So I'm just going to take my fingers, run them up the stem to straighten the fibers and then we're going to measure that out so that the length will be the length of the hook. Once you've got the measurement and you've got the feather placed where you want it, you can pinch it down on the hook and then do a few tight wraps of thread to keep it held down. You can then let go of the feather and wind it up the rest of the way. Once you get the feather at the head, you can clip the butt end. Now we're going to clean up the fuzzies that the feather left behind. Just go over that as many times as you need to to make it clean. And now I'm going to build up the rest of the body a little bit because near the head we used a little bit more thread than I was anticipating. For the body, I'm going to be using this barred black and orange chenille with some crystal flash fibers. We're just going to take a piece of that, tie it in at the head here, and wind the chenille down to the tail. Once you got it at the tail, you can bring the thread back up to the head. Now you can start winding the chenille. Just going to pull the tail fibers away from that so that they don't get stuck in the chenille. And we're going to start wrapping this. We just want even wraps. You want to keep tight pressure. Just wind that up to the head. Take all the time you need. Once you get it there, you can tie the chenille down with a few good wraps. To a wrap in front of the chenille. Then you can clip it off. If the chenille left any fuzzy fibers behind, you can pull those off and tie them down as you need to. And now we're going to whip finish. Just give it a five or six turn whip finish. And then you can cut your thread. So that's it. This is the Fire Cricket Jig. The orange and black give this jig just a great color pattern that works year round. There's a lot of insects that have this color. So if they fall in the water, it's just a free snack for the fish. Now let me get it wet to show you what it looks like. So when it's wet, you can see that the orange turns a darker color, sort of a brown. And again, that's a really natural color that mimics a lot of insects and it could mimic darker bait fish as well. This jig is tried and true for me. Go ahead and give it a try, see if you like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe.